Son of God. Despite the fact that early Christians rejected the teachings of Gnosticism as heresy, many of its ideas were eventually absorbed into the mainstream church. Christianity emerged at a time when the mysteries were at the height of their popularity, and though it rejected paganism outwardly, it absorbed several of its concepts, derived ultimately from the mysteries, rationalized by the early church fathers through their adherence to Neoplatonic philosophy. According to Anthony Buzzard, the mingling of Hebrew and Greek thinking was set in motion first in the 2nd century by an influx of Hellenism through the Church Fathers, whose theology was colored by the Platonists Plotinus and Porphyry. 66 Essentially, as scholars have noted, traditional Christian orthodoxy, though claiming to derive its doctrine from authentic sources, is actually an amalgam of biblical themes and Neoplatonism. 67. The rationalization of Christianity with Platonic philosophy was initiated by Justin Martyr, c. 100, c. 165. Justin's conversion however, did not mean the abandonment of philosophical inquiry. On the contrary, he viewed Christianity as the true philosophy. The transcendent incomprehensible God of Plato is the God of the Bible, and he surmised that the Jewish scriptures must have been made available to Plato and the Greeks' philosophers. The influence of Platonic philosophy becomes apparent in Justin Martyr's theology. He uses the concept of the divine logos to explain how the transcendent father of all deals with the inferior, created order of things. The sun logos is necessary to mediate between the supreme father and the material world. The Divine Logos inspired the prophets and was present in Jesus Christ. Justin insists that the Logos is other than the Father, derived from the Father in a process which does not diminish the being of the Father, but in a manner in which one torch may be lit from another. Clement of Alexandria, c. 150, c. 215 AD, the great opponent of Gnosticism, was confident that, because God had planted the seeds of truth in all men, there is much to be learned from Platonic metaphysics, from Stoic ethics, and from Aristotelian logic. There is little significant information about Clement's early life. Clement was converted to Christianity by his last teacher, reputedly a former Stoic philosopher, and the first recorded president of the Christian catechetical school at Alexandria. Clement succeeded his mentor as head of the school and became the intellectual leader of the Alexandrian Christians. He drew heavily on Philo, and followed both Philo and Justin Martyr, in claiming that the Greek philosophers plagiarized their teaching from Moses. 68. Clement's successor as head to the catechetical school of Alexandria was Origen, c. 184, c. 253, who, according to Porphyry, had attended lectures given by Ammonius Saccas, the teacher of Plutarch and Plotinus. Origen wrote a work entitled Stromatius in which he attempted to interpret Christian concepts in Platonic language. To Origen, God first created not the material world, but a realm of spiritual beings endowed with reason and free will and dependent on the Creator. To explain the fall, he borrowed an idea from Philo of Alexandria, and suggested that the spiritual beings became sated with the adoration of God, and fell by neglect, gradually turning away from God to what is inferior. The material world was brought into being as a result of this fall. The Trinity was adopted into Christianity through the philosophy of Philo of Alexandria, whose formulation of the Logos, or the Word, as an intermediary between God and creation, equated with Mitras, helped to lay the groundwork for Neoplatonism, Gnosticism as well as the philosophical framework of the early Christian fathers. In anticipation of the Christian doctrine, Philo called the Logos the first begotten Son of God, the Man of God, the Image of God, and second to God. As Philo had described, the one transcendent God was beyond the reach of mere man, therefore, the need for a mediator between God and man, 
and thus Christ was interpreted as the Logos. The fourth Gospel of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, also known as the Gnostic Gospel, refers to Jesus as the Word, translated from the Greek Logos, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. 69 Later it states, And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, glory as of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. 70. Effectively, Jesus became the dying God of the mysteries, whose death and resurrection was celebrated every spring, known as Easter. Most of the churches had decided to observe Easter replacing the Jewish Passover. Easter, from the Greek Eorists, or Astart, the festival of death and resurrection, was made to coincide with the spring rites of other contemporary cults and mystery schools. The death and resurrection of Addis was officially celebrated at Rome on the 24th and 25th of March, the latter being regarded as the spring equinox, and therefore as the most appropriate day for the revival of the god of fertility who had been dead or sleeping throughout the winter. Similarly, other Christian holidays were assimilated to pagan festivals. The festival of St. George in April replaced the ancient pagan festival of the Paralia. The festival of St. John the Baptist in June has supplanted a midsummer festival of water. The festival of the Assumption of the Virgin in August has ousted the festival of Diana, and the Feast of All Souls in November is a continuation of an old heathen feast of the dead. Christian authors, like Justin Martyr and Tertullian, c. 155 AD, c. 220 AD, noted the similarities between Christianity and the mysteries but claimed that the mysteries were demonically inspired imitations of the true Christianity. The Eucharist was modeled was an adaptation of the cannibalism mysteries, where the cup of the Last Supper is the mixing bowl or cup of the Mithraic and Dionysian mysteries which holds the blood of the God. Originally mentioned in Plato's Timaeus, the cup is found in the Chaldean oracles, a Neoplatonic text of the 2nd century AD, and is equated with the monad in the Corpus Hermeticum, and Zosimus in the 5th century refers to it as the symbol of spiritual baptism or initiation. To Justin Martyr, Jesus took bread, and, said, This do ye in remembrance of me, this is my body, and, after the same manner, having taken the cup and given thanks, he said, This is my blood, and gave it to them. Which the wicked devils have imitated in the mysteries of Mitra, commanding the same thing to be done. 71. 